What in the is going on? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store, The Officer Tatum Store. Make sure you get the merch link in the description section. Our warehouse is now open in Scottsdale, Arizona. Also, books are available. You can get the signed copy, non-signed copy at The Officer Tatum Store. They're there at the warehouse right now. If you end up ordering and you live local, you can actually come and pick it up if you want to save on shipping costs. Like and subscribe to this channel. A lot of y'all watch me. But some of y'all ain't even subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. Helps with the algorithm on the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, Rachel Levine, woman of USA Today, woman of the year. How in the is a man the woman of the year? This is what women, I want you to understand this. And I'm going to show y'all something. And this should be eye opening for you. Women, I believe that you are under attack. When a biological man wins woman over the woman of the year over actual women. And it's nothing against if you want to be a transgender or whatever. That's on you. That's your life. But I don't think it's right that people can thwart another person's livelihood, uh, uh, constitutional rights, whatever your freedoms. They can cut your because they want to change genders one day. Let me tell you why I say that. All you got to do is look at the revisionist history of Rachel Levine. I don't even know Rachel's real name because they act as if it didn't exist. Rachel Levine, born 1957. So Rachel Levine is in, 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 his, in his, her 50s, right? In, in her 50s. Rachel Levine transitioned way at the bottom. They tell you that. Transition in 2011. Transition in 2011. Divorced in 2013. If you look at any of the history that is written from the beginning, this person, Levine, is a woman. But they, the person transitioned in 2011. How are they calling you a woman from 1957 to the present, you were a man. You were living a as a man. This is revision. This is the problem. At least on the wiki page, keep it real. It should read the 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 male name that Levin had was born and raised in this area. Did this, went to college, did this, was married, had children, and this was his name. Blah, 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 blah. He did this. He did this. He did this. He did that. Then he transitioned in 2011 to become Rachel Levine. Rachel, now she X, Y, Z. I wouldn't have a problem if you kept it consistent. If you admitted that this was a man and then the man decided to live as a woman. If you kept it 100 the whole time, it'll make sense. But when y'all trying to revise history and act like the entire life of this man didn't exist before he transitioned in 2011, what, what, what are y'all even doing? But I'm going to show you something else because I think it's important to call this out. This dude, this is why I, I call him a dude and why it's confusing to some people because he ain't even trying. He ain't even trying to look like a woman. Not really. I don't think he really trying to look like a woman. And he, don't try to, he ain't trying to sound like a woman. Wrote a film. I feel that I must personally respond to the multiple incidents of LGBTQ harassment and specifically transphobia directed at me that have been reported in the press. I would first like to sincerely thank Governor Wolf for his continued support and for his comments last week. The LGBTQ community okay, all right, all right, has made I had so enough. I had enough. I had enough. This your boy Biden. This is what Biden them be doing. This is what Biden them be doing. Not the most qualified person, but because they woke it woke woke virtue signaling, they put somebody in place like this. This man needs to focus on his own mental health, his own stuff that he's dealing with that makes him transition in 2011 and think that he's now a woman and not a man. Was married with children. They don't want to tell you that. Was married with children as a man. 
Where's the wedding photos? They never put the date that he got married. They just erased the fact that he's a man. You need to worry about your own mental health, bro. You dressing up like a woman and you think you're a woman. You got to worry about that. How you doing this and you need to worry about that? And your boy Biden is pushing this. And all you Christians out there that claim to be Christians and supporting Joe Biden and Democrats that's pushing stuff like this, you should be ashamed of yourself. You don't have to be mean to anybody. You don't have to discriminate against anybody. But you know this ain't right. You know that you should be praying for this person. They should be trying to figure out what's going on in their mind and not thrusting these people out into the forefront. Okay. What, what nation do you want to live in? A cuckoo nation? Or do you want to live in a nation that, that's, that's based on our founding? Christianity. Common sense. Reality. Facts. All of those very important um, intricate details that created a nation like this. This stuff didn't create this nation. This stuff wasn't, wasn't around when the, when the profound founding of this idea called America was developed. We weren't doing stuff like this. Now we think that doing this is going to somehow create something. What nation has been created doing stuff like this? Name one. Okay, that's what I thought. Once the nation has flourished, they then come out the clouds with all these crazy things. That's what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. But anyway, what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen? This is a disgrace to our country. That you got a person that's clearly mentally having mental, a mental crisis and you thrusting them out in the forefront, and then they win woman of the year over actual biological women. I, I, listen, listen. I don't care if you want to do this stuff, but you need your own lane. You are not eligible to win woman of the year because technically you ain't a woman. You, you ain't a woman. Why can't you be trans woman of the year? trans woman of the year because that's what you are you have transitioned you're not a woman you are a trans woman that means that you were born a man and now you transition to living as a woman that's what that's what you are you're not a woman you're a trans woman these people you ain't a man you're a trans man those two ain't the same when they go dig up your bones a hundred years from now they're gonna say oh that man was here and that man did this and that and that. That man's children and that man's wife, because there's the woman and there's him, and he had children. That's how they're going to go and find out who you are looking back in history. They're not going to find out what you thought you was. They're going to find out who you actually were based on your DNA. So, if you're going to write in history, people are going to look back and be confused and say, oh, this must have been a transgender person because there's no way in the world that this is a woman. Okay. All right. I ain't even trying to look like a woman. I, I understand. You, you could do a little something. You could hit the gym a little bit. You could do a little something to, look, to, to beautify yourself like beautiful women are. You don't even care. Homeboy don't even care. He ain't even trying to fix his voice. He ain't trying to make, his look, make him look like a woman. And I, I want to hear from his wife what happened. They want to act like she don't exist. What, what happened? You married to this man for so many years, and then he turned into a woman. What's your thoughts, ma'am? Okay, anyway. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this, this, this Levine winning one, or, or being nominated as woman of the year. USA Today, woman of the year. What are your thoughts? Be nice. Don't get, don't get me banned on here. Be nice, but tell me the truth. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out.